What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, spawning on the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Set. His name is Mariano. His opponent today in the uh, right side of the map, if I can hit the view lock button, his name is Mage and he's playing as Ra. He's red and he's down currently zero to two on this map watering hole for the first round of the postseason, the relegations. I think Correct me if I'm wrong, but this this was the 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 one v one thing. As I'm desperately trying to look through the 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 um, promos slash relegations schedule here to see what's going. Yes, the winner of this game is crowned, or the series is crowned the um, uh, the strong, the best challenger for season one. So it's a very uh, a very sought after crown, and I believe it nets you an immediate spot into the Champions League. It's the only match where you only have, to, well, you don't have to beat a champion to get into the Champions League. I believe I could be wrong about that one, but you know I've been wrong before. I think there may be one other one, but you know it is what it is. And not only that, you walk away with uh, a cool. Uh, I don't know how much money it is. 25 USD, was it? I don't know where the... Um... Nope. Don't know, don't know where the uh, where, where anything is. Uh, I, 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 it's not quite as much as third place, um, but it, it was a little something-something for those challenger players to play for. So a little bit of a little bit of prize money on the line here, a little bit of nerves obviously here as well. But Mage got to be happy to get watering hole here in this series, uh, as he is the Egyptian player. And we do see Mariano switching into the set, so a little bit different for him. I have seen his set played; it's very strong. So don't be uh, don't be fooled, don't be surprised. Can be a very very strong Egyptian player. Uh, I do remember playing team games in the RTSL against Mariano's set, and very very strong player. Indeed. So we'll see what he can pull out of his sleeve in this uh, in this game. Uh, Mage, on the other hand, gets the watering hole with Ra. Super defensive map. Very very uh, very very strong Ra map because you don't need hunt. You don't need map control. You just power on the two town centers and then you can push out. You're not going to take too much harass, too much damage uh, from your opponent, and you just work around it. We do see that monument coming up. Houses going up everywhere. And some really, a really nice scouting for Mage here. Uh, finding Hippopotamus, finding Zebra over here. Plus these pigs, not picking those up. A little bit of an unfortunate uh, situation there for, for Mage. Mariano, on the other hand, he should be looking to shoot to the next age as fast as possible. Uh, I think the meta for set in this matchup is to go for an instant three town centers. So advancing a little bit later here isn't the worst if you do go for that strategy. Um, the other op and, and you can just simply grab the forward two town centers with that three town center grab and you aim for a nine minute heroic age, which is roughly the same time that uh, that mage will be hitting the heroic age as well. So you can kind of keep up with the Ra uh, and force them into a into a difficult situation where they have to commit to an all in to get their town center or commit to tech uh, to, to to try and keep their economic advantage. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. But it does look like a very fast advanced night for Mariano. So it's probably just going to be a, a, a two town center play. Potentially not aware of what the meta is for set against Ra on Watering Hole. Because it, it's it's kind of a, a new, it's not that new. It was done in the Bill Gregg Open, but it's kind of a new a new thing. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We do see the tar coming through. Standard five minute advance time for Mage. He's been very consistent with this build. Uh, if you want to learn this one, I do recommend jumping into the Vubly League Discord, going into those recorded game uh, places where you can download them. They're all through their league. They're also going to be on the RTS Sanctuary as well if you don't want to go to the, the Discord or can't go to the Discord because you don't have it. Uh, and, and finding his games and learning his build and you will be able to learn this raw build very, very nicely here. So, Relics on the map, we do have the 
ahead of Orpheus and we also have the Trios but a really strong relic you definitely have to grab that one and the village is moving forward to this town center as well like I said grabbing the middle town center it's a set is standard grabbing the back town center as Ra is standard uh, and we see all seven villages still on gold so we may be seeing the second town center coming up for Mariano as well he does have a lot of aura or water buffalo here plus the zebra so a nice amount of hunt nice and far forward can actually eat this hunt as well to start with before moving back also rhinoceros here as well so so much hunt here uh, it's almost like the the rain that mage is going to have is really not that much value because there's so much hunt here uh there there is like a uh a, um, a sort of a modern strategy that raw players can do which looks very similar to the set but it's a bit of a risk and, and you may have to use shifting sands or something to get it but it's like an immediate three town centers as well from the raw but it's so hard to get it um, without using shifting sands because of this situation we do see the fair the priest moving in to grab these water buffalo a little bit surprised to see him not just go for them straight away as he knows what he's up against but doing his thing Still oh, only five villages on goal now, so no third town center. Oh, there it is. He's going for the third town center now. Uh, I hate that he's going for the back town center though. Getting this one, and you then tr you just uh, try and hold on. That's the 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 uh, the theme for the the three town centers here. Uh, and, and while this works, I I just think you if your plan was to do this, this is obviously could just be a reaction to what Mage has done. But if your plan was to do this. Uh, you got to come at it with uh, with a build. You know what map you're going to be playing on. You know what God Mage is going to play. Um, come in with the build. Come in with the three town center build where you advance at like 5.15, 5.30 or something around there. Grab those two middle town centers instantly and, uh, and, and race for the heroic age because this town center is so late. We're not going to see a nine minute heroic age for Mariana. It's probably going to look something like 10 minutes or something like that. And Mage is going to have a real good opportunity to get this town center for himself with a very fast push out of his base or go for a very fast mythic age here throw the docks down and he can start just going for an, an immediate naval ox abilities and going after the town center with those oxy war barges as just one of many options uh, but has he seen the map? That's the question. He does know this town center is here. He knows this water is here. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting situation. The Wadget moving up to the top of the map. We'll spot the head of Orpheus here. And the villagers coming over onto the gold mine, onto the food over here. And if we check out the food situation for Mariana, it's got quite a bit of food. Uh, but as we say, the gold is very, very low. Not going to be able to get there. We do see a bunch of villagers on wood as well. So... A uh, bit of an economic situation here for Marion, not jumping ages here. And we will be seeing Mage advancing, going through Hathor, not getting, uh, not doing a fast, fast rain here because of all of the food he has got. Uh, and this can actually open up some very real boomy possibilities for Mage here. Uh, raining in the heroic age is uh, is absolutely huge for the uh, the market situation. If you put up like even only 12 farms or something uh, small like that, it's a very limited amount of gold investment. You put up the double market up in the top corner just before you rain and then you can spam out a trade route and have like a, a 10 to 20 uh, camel caravan trade route out uh, and, and have more villages, uh, civilian units than... Uh, than the than the, the set players on three town centers because he's only building him at at, at uh, three town centers every fifteen se or three villages every fifteen seconds. Where if, whereas you're building him at four uh, civilian units every fifteen seconds. Uh, we do see the Patukas coming out. We'll spot this priest here. Can we go on to uh, pick off some water buffaloes as the priest immediately starts moving forward to start selecting that Patukas there or with. His special picks up the rock, moving back, and we do uh, throw the Migdol stronghold down here. Doing all those good things, and the market's instantly coming up for Mage. So it's looking like this is what he's going for, going for the huge boom. And, and honestly, you get so many resources from this, and, and it's so much value because the, these are these camel caravans. If they're netting. 
uh, more than 100 gold. I think they're worth quarry gold villages. So you don't even have to worry about those upgrades. I'm not sure if you need coinage or not. Can't remember, but if they're getting more than 100 gold, it's a good time for sure. And then on top of that, you can just empower it and get an extra, um, is it uh, extra 15% on that? So you can get like another 15 or so because that should be about 100 gold for that location. It's probably the best town center placement you could be hoping for. Uh, Nephthys does come through for Mariano. So like I said, just a little bit late, but a little bit more economy for him. He's going to control the center of the map here. And the rock moving forward, going to be looking for something to locust here. Unfortunately, not fast enough to see the forward Migdal stronghold. Um, question is for Mariano, what does he go for here? Do you go for elephant? War elephant wouldn't probably not be a bad idea. War elephant and chariot archers, double Migdal stronghold would be a, a smart idea. Now let's see how many farms he's got. Eight farms plus uh, 21 farms here. Market up, camel caravans spamming out. Second market on the way. Should have sent a priest over there to get those up a little bit faster. Treat them more like town centers, but with only one villager to put them up. So then you can just spam them. We see the triple wall popularized by Chemo. We will be seeing that one in his games, I'm I'm sure, uh, to really hold on to this. He does have a bit of an opening here, though. I'm not sure if he's aware of that or not. So we'll have to deal with that. Now the Camelry moving in. Scorpion Man here to push these guys back with the Wadget as well. Nice deflection. And uh, maybe may just got to think about maybe just going Mythic Age here. Beating these animals. Very simple with the Son of Osiris. Uh, Set does not have access to... Uh, to that it, actually i take it all back shifting sands on this town center is the way to go um 100 we do see he's already got the villages here and need to get that pharaoh over here as well and you can just shifting sands onto this town center and grab it and it's i don't think that mariana has got the pushing power to stop this one we do see the chariot archers moving over to this town center here uh mariana grabs the trios bow which is archer and ballister kyra ballister here there's the locust onto this location here picking off a couple of villages with the help of the Batsukos, the Pharaoh picking these guys off the Wadget, going after these Chariot Archers. Those villagers have been instructed to do something. So Mage not going for that Shifting Sands play. A little bit disappointing there uh, because he, uh, he he can simply just get that Town Center and be in a really good position. But going through Horus here, I actually love that idea. Instead of the Son of Osiris, Horus is such a good god in the Egyptian mirror because you get access to those spearmen which can then deal with uh, deal with the, the, the mercenary cavalry uh, and things of that nature. We do see a nice raid here from uh, from Mage picking off the priest, picking off the other priest and was forcing out an ancestors. Absolutely huge. Going after the villagers as well, just going to ignore those ancestors. You don't want to throw away too many of these uh, these chariot archers though. Uh, but going to be able to pick up a couple of villagers here. The Wadget doing, a, well, it does a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, the Wadget is one of those units that does have a negative uh, damage against villagers. Uh, I, 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 I always hated that change, but um, it was to nerf the early game of set players and it hit the Ra player as well, which is a, you know, it's a byproduct, but it is what it is. Horus does get hit by, wait, that's Mariano's Horus? Okay, Mariano's Horus. And we just see an immediate tornado onto this location, picking off a Migdal stronghold, immediately going to be chucking that one back up. And May just now got his own tornado, and Mariano doesn't have his left. So mage has got two options here he can either go for a push on this town oh she's got three options go for a push on this town center with horus um actually that probably counts as the first the first option with the dog or the second option is go for a fast titan here um there is shifting sand so you can just pick off that fairly easily but the tornado will be able to prevent anything uh, from happening there. Do we see naval ox abilities? We do see naval ox abilities. War barges coming out, and Mariano's got no chance to defend against this one. This town center will go down if uh, if there's any population at all for Mage. He needs to think about getting out fortified town centers, which he is getting, and that uh, Miguel Stronghold is up, and the units for Mage. I don't know what they're doing, but he's revealed the Oxy War Barge here, uh, which may be dreadful. Will we see any docks? No docks for uh, for Mage just yet. Mariano getting away with a little bit here as these Oxy War Barges are not attacking yet. 
There's the fortified town centers for Mariano, fortified town centers for Mage. This does give Mariano a big time now, a big option to attack. He's going for it because there's a lot of uh, population on this location here. The dock coming up now for Mariano. The dock will get torn down faster than it produces a uh, Pentaconto or a hammer ship. Ramming galley? What are they called? Ramming galley. We'll go down so he has to repair it. It's going to be too slow. More Oxy War Barges coming out. Going to be targeting down the Talon Center there. There's one Ramming Galley out. Tornado does get cast onto this location. Going to be trying to take down the Migdol Stronghold. Nice play there from uh, from Mage. You can now start spamming out defensive mercenary cavalry as well because his trade's so ginormous. The Kebnet's popping out as well now to take down the uh, the Ramming Galleys. This uh this dock getting very close to falling. The town center going to be going down as well. And he does decide to finish off that dock there with the three war barges that are left behind before going after this town center. I would love to see docks getting thrown down here for Mariana. That's why uh, that's one thing you can do to defend against this if you're a little bit late to it. Uh, but the town center goes down. And that's huge for Mage. But Mariana still has all the economy. Hasn't really started up his trade as strong as Mage, but... Three town centers to play with. Mercenary cavalry in the front. We do see some Batsukos coming out. Only one priest here should task those mercenary cavalry plus, or even just mercenary onto that priest there. And that would be beautiful, but it's not happening just yet. That priest getting a lot of value here. Uh, and we'll see what Mage is going to do. As the Migdol Stronghold went down, but Marion or Mage has got 300 gold Migdols with the set bonus. So like picking up a Migdol, not the not the best of moves here, but this one will sit on this location. We do see Mage's villagers getting a little bit antsy here. Want to move in, take that location for themselves. We'll be able to take down the markets of Mariano, which really hurts the uh, the trade route. There's not that many of them. Plus the cabinets can shut it down as well. Mage is going to retreat and put up this Migdol Stronghold as he realizes he can't take this location just yet. Probably should put it right next to the water to, for the cabinets to help out. But getting pushed back here. More mercenary cavalry coming through for Mage. And this one may end up going long because Marion is probably not going to let this town center get grabbed here. And this is a lot of population for mage to be sitting here it's uh it's it's 12 population to take down 20 population so obviously worth it but will really hurt mage's chances at pushing elsewhere so marion is gonna have to find some sort of value somewhere surprised to see him make war elephants here when he went horus when you go horus you got to be going for those spearmen so very very important because they pick off these mercenary cavalry uh, very nicely. They pick off the catapult as well very fast because they have a bonus against those siege weapons. And we see the catapults going after this Migdol stronghold, but the villagers getting pulled off their wood line here. We'll pick off these catapults very fast with they only got 115 HP, so they die incredibly fast. Villagers or the mercenary cavalry can help pick them off. Meanwhile, these are. Uh, these cabinets should be just sitting right in here, right in this location here, preventing the trade route from doing too much. These are camel caverns with 121 gold here, 135 for mage. It's, it's got a little bit extra. You can see that's the difference there between uh, right next to the, uh, the, the edge and not quite next to the edge. It's a lot, right? Anyways, points made. <laughs> Now it's uh, Migdal Stronghold not coming or just getting up for Mage, actually. The Oxy War Barge is sitting in the back. And the big problem now for Mage is going to be just population. He can get out uh, armory upgrades, whereas Mariana probably won't be able to afford them. We're not looking like he's actually able to just yet. And now the, the War Barges are in range on the bottom of the map as well. Absolutely huge for Mage. He's going to level this two town centers to two. And he's got he's got to have the... No, he doesn't. He's really short on resources. I was going to say he's got to have the advantage here in terms of resources, but he just doesn't. And the town center falls. It's two town centers apiece here. And Ma Mariano is not going to be able to get either of these back. He's going to th try and throw up his docks, but this is such a little amount of... Um, of population investment to take down those town centers or, and to keep them down as well. Yeah. 
Did you see the dock up for Mariano? But it's going to get torn down very fast. Because we don't even see any, any attempted ramming galleys coming out. And that's unfortunate for Mariano. Now we've got a champion upgrades through as well for Mage. And he's going to get those upgrades very fast. We've got Burning Pitch Flood Control Champion Chariots for Mariano. Bronze Male Engineers and Crenellations for Mages. He's going to want to start transitioning into towers here to pick off those War Elephants a little bit more efficiently. We see more dock attempts for Mariano. He's got these docks down here though. Just use those, amass some ramming galleys, come in, clear this out, get this town center back. That's the uh, that's the tactic. That's the way forward here. Um, and unfortunately for Mariano, he's uh he's not getting a whole lot of value with these with these chariots. So that's the thing. We don't see the town center going back up. So nice try there. Watchtowers. Very good at taking down the the war barges, but the war barges take the watchtowers down very fast as well. Especially when they're finished. Before they're finished, they don't do a whole lot of damage, but what can you do? Got mage building some ramming galleys down here as well. Villagers for mage coming over through the transport ship. A couple of transport ships are actually going to try and get this Migdal Stronghold down. Picks off the uh, the catapult and Mage is just like, I don't need these villagers. How many resources he got? He's got quite a bit in the bank. So he's just going to be uh, throwing those away. It looks like going after the Migdal Stronghold. We'd love to see some cabinets here when he did this because that would have helped out a lot. Now it's going to keep trying to get back up. I'm going to try and put up a, another watchtower here, but too slow on those ones to be honest. And all these villages do end up falling. A catapult coming in for Mage. And now he's got some of those units he can start pushing in with. A couple more villages coming in. Migdal Stronghold still on its way up. And you can see this mercenary cavalry just lives for so long against those champion chariots. The villagers do end up taking down that Migdal Stronghold with the help of the catapult. Going after another catapult. And Mariano seems to be crumbling in this moment from this water pressure that, Mar that Mage is putting onto him. Now the villagers can go onto this town center. There's really not a lot that uh, Mariano could do to stop him from getting the town center. The, the catapult picking off, almost picking off the, the Migdal Stronghold that's going up and eventually probably will here. Does pill it, pick it off. More villagers just falling for Mariano as Mage has just absolutely turned this game on its head and Mariano has to tap out here. GG, well played by Mage, changing the series into a uh, into a series here. Turning the game into a series, turning the match into a series. Getting the first win for himself, not going down 3-0. to zero. No sweeps here, no maids. We have a Mage here to turn things around. Well played here. A nice use of the water was a very good option. And also at the top here as well, I, I didn't even think about that. I thought this town center was potentially not in range, but it was, and that's huge. And Mage managed to take advantage of it, and Mariano was not able to hold on. Uh, and you're in these positions where you have the four town centers. I think it's better to be throwing the docks down earlier. Um, and, and just making sure you can secure that, maybe even throwing down some towers as well, because uh, they pick off the the, bar, the the siege ships before they really get into any sort of an issue there. Anyways, well played. If you enjoy this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button to see the videos as soon as they come out, and I will see you guys in the next game.